because these are people who are living in the forests, living happy life by hunting, gathering, and that's the life they had known for a very long time. All of a sudden, uh, the government evicted them from those forests and they didn't know any other kind of life. Within a very short distance of the family of gorillas who have just recently been feeding here. This is all where gorillas have been feeding. There's bits of celery and they, uh, they peel the celery and eat the inside part and it tastes like celery. Unlike us, mountain gorillas are strict vegetarians. They feed on more than 200 species of plants, some of which only grow in these wet, high-altitude equatorial rainforests. Gorillas are so closely adapted to this habitat, they cannot live anywhere else. Thanks to relentless efforts to protect the gorillas and their ecosystem, their numbers have risen steadily over recent years. Zhao likes to mention, who's our head of school, he likes to talk about mm -hmm. the fact that conservationists and anthropologists do field work. Yes. And we tend to not, we tend to work all over the world in, in multi, multicultural and multi-environmental mm -hmm. kinds of situations, so there's some linkage. Certainly the vision of the majority of pe people and the reason, the essence of why we have this school is that we believe that the two should be working together. Mm -hmm. Now, how to achieve that, that's another uh, uh, issue because the methods used are very different, the language is used, the, the, the terminology is used, the theory behind the different disciplines are different. So this is where having a, we lack a sort of common sort of language to, to talk to each other. Mm -hmm.